Brittany, I have some people on my email list. They're not buying from me. How do I turn my subscribers into actual paying customers? How do I move my leads from just getting free information and how can I get them to buy my coaching program, my membership, or my course? What do I do? Well, today I'm going to share with you how you can start turning your leads into actual paying customers. These tips will walk you through exactly what you can start implementing in your business today. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Hey there, Corporate Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, consultants, and course creators to build a freedom-bound business, sharing their expertise, and also creating automation and so much more. Now, before we dive into today's topic, go ahead and check out my four-phase framework that will help you to get started with launching. It walks you through what you should do at each of the phases in your launch so that you can have a successful launch and also do it confidently without having to guess and hope that you're on the right track. So go ahead and check it out below. Now, today I wanna to talk about something because this is something I hear more often than not, how do I turn my leads into paying customers? I have an email list, but no one's buying from me. Or I have people who follow me, but they're not buying from me. How do I move them into paying customers? Well, you are in for a treat because we're gonna walk right through that today. So the first thing you can do to help you turn your leads into paying customers is to do email marketing and create email series. A lot of the clients that I work with, whenever I'm asking them about what they're currently doing to turn their leads into actual paying customers, they never tell me that they're doing email marketing or having email series that consistently lead them to an actual paid product. So I want you to ask yourself, are you currently running a series on the back end that's evergreen leading people to your paid product? And if you aren't doing something that's evergreen, are you consistently talking about your product that ultimately leads to your live launches and so much more? So you wanna have these email sequences after someone opts in as a lead and you want to inform them of the product that you might have that can help them solve their pain point. Now, if you don't help them to solve their pain point, what usually happens is that they join your email list, they might get some tips here and there, but no one's guiding them to get to that place of where they wanna go. So you need to guide your customer on their customer journey to start as a lead, but then let's move you further along and help you to get past some of these barriers and roadblocks that you're running into so that you can see transformation. So for example, I have been watching this amazing YouTuber who teaches all about yoga. Pretty much every single day, she's putting out a yoga video. Now, what I love is that whenever I go to her channel, she's talking about yoga, she's sharing a little bit about her tools and things that she's using, her equipment for her yoga video, and then ultimately, she goes into her yoga teaching. Hey, you can join my list to get daily inspiration about yoga and how you can practice it in your life. Now, recently, I went into Target and I saw this whole collection from this lady I just found on YouTube. I was like, oh my goodness, here are all those amazing tools and all those things that you can get that can ultimately help me to do my yoga the same way this person's doing it or to see similar results or be able to advance in my yoga practice. So I bought the whole entire collection. And one thing that this person did was they started me as a lead where I'm watching free content. I'm getting a feel for you. And then ultimately I became a paying customer. Once I saw your product, I was like, yes, I am in, sign me up. I got absolutely everything. So what I want you to do in digital marketing, because sometimes what happens is we assume that our customers know it's time to buy the product immediately after. Instead, we need to guide them and you can do that through your email marketing series so after someone opts in then you start to inform them about your actual paid product start guiding them and leading them to that product so that they can buy from you so now let's talk about the four types of emails that you can share with your customers through your email marketing to help turn them into paying customers the first thing is value so value is so amazing for your leads because it allows them to get strategies 
strategies, tips, how to's and guidance on the specific topic that they are looking to kind of work their way through. They're probably experiencing barriers right now, challenges, frustration, and they're feeling overwhelmed with the specific topic. And what you're doing is you're providing value to help them to start to see a way out of the pain point that they are currently in. So one thing I like to do for my own leads within my business is I like to provide guides, how-to videos, or give them checklists or things along those lines to help them to move forward. I like to use a lot of the templates within my Course Creator Pro product that allows me to quickly make checklists, guides, roadmaps, and so much more and share them with my audience quickly. It helps to save the day and also it keeps me in a place where I'm able to provide value quickly as well as have quality with what it is I'm providing. Now, the next email that you can start sharing is social proof. Social proof is a really great way for people to see who is getting results and also what results are they getting? Is it what they're looking for? And it also helps them to envision how they can see themselves winning and seeing that transformation in their own lives. So for me, I like to do case studies in my business. Case studies allow me to share what happened behind the scenes, where they were, and then what result did they get to? How did they go from A to B to C and further on? So I want you to ask yourself, is testimonials, case studies, or social proof from Facebook for people just recommending your business and services, what would be best for your audience and what would get them excited about working with you? Share that social proof as that will help people to know that people actually work with you, they get results, and they're transforming their lives because that most likely is what your leads are looking to have. And then from there, you can start to introduce your actual paid product. Now, the next thing you can do is engagement emails. Engagement emails are a great way for you to actually communicate and talk to your audience. Rather than talking at them, you are able to create an opportunity for feedback. You can have surveys, you can ask questions and ask people to just hit reply. It's a really great way for you to learn what is it that my customer actually wants? What are they asking for and how can I create that in my product or how can I help to point them in the right direction for the result that they are looking for? I know for our own business, we love to give surveys. Our surveys allow us to know, are we going in the right direction with the products we're creating, as well as are we putting our products that are a best fit for our audience in front of them? If not, how can we start doing that? How can we gather the information from that survey or from that reply, and how can we present this to them in a different way so that they can see that there's some opportunities for them? So create that engagement. Now, the fourth email is pitching. I don't see this happen as often as it should in the course creation world because a lot of people are scared to sell. But if you never ask for the sell, well then how can your customer know that you have a product or that you have services or that you can help them? So one way that you can go about this is by providing value, social proof, engagement, but then asking for the actual sale. Share about how they can have transformation once they go through your course, your membership, your coaching program, your eBooks, or whatever digital assets that you're going to be sharing with your customers. Guide them so that they actually know what to do and how to take action. So there you have it, Corporate Misfits. Go ahead and get started with email marketing as this can truly help you to move your leads from just a lead to an actual paying customer. And if you have been struggling to create value emails or give value tips or strategies and things like that, check out Course Creator Pro where it can help you quickly make your templates and share it with your audience in no time. All right, I will see you next time. Go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what you're going to be doing within your business when it comes to email marketing and how you're gonna turn your leads into paying customers. Hey Corporate Misfits, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you hit subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on some of our upcoming videos.